Summer in Greece is a tricky time, with fires often an unwelcome visitor. Sisulu Dashu's team is now counting on an ally, Disarm, a European project to prevent, tackle and mitigate against the impact of drought and forest fires. Disarm has provided modelling tools for an early warning system, which facilitates the task of rescue workers and firefighters. In previous years, it was not possible to send photos and videos to the field, so the team leader didn't have the information they needed. But now we can send videos and photos, and most importantly, we can have this predictive fire model, which shows the course of the fire. So the head of the firefighters team has all the data and can make the right decisions. Disarm's total budget is over 1 million euros, 85% of which is covered by the European Union's cohesion policy and 15% by national funds from the three countries participating, Greece, Bulgaria and Cyprus. As soon as the alert's triggered and the National Observatory of Athens receives it, the team of physicist and meteorologist Theodoros Yanaros processes the data on IRIS. This system takes into account the topography, the meteorological data and even the type of wood being burnt. IRIS sends accurate prediction of the fire's course in real time. The information we give the fire department is what we call the worst case scenario. The forecasting system does not take into account the efforts of firefighters in the field. So we present them with the worst case scenario and the firefighters do their best to avoid it. Within 15 to 20 minutes, the application automatically emails the firefighters with a six hour forecast. Within the following hour, they receive a forecast for the next 24 hours. It's less than an hour's drive from Athens to Mati. This coastal town was ravaged by a forest fire in 2018. More than 100 people died. Tragedies such as this one highlight the importance of technological tools to help firefighters in the field, according to the project manager. As scientists, we feel happy and satisfied because our methods aren't just presented in a scientific publication that remains, let's say, trapped in our scientific community. We are happy that they help the authorities to protect life, property and infrastructure. So an important moment for us was when the fire service evaluated the programme and included it in its operational practice. In the past, fires were more common in southern Europe, but sharing the methods and the expertise to put them out could be essential for all countries going forward. In recent years, the number of forest fires has increased due to climate change.